In slow motion, the explosive breakthrough becomes clear. Just there, just before he hit the bag, it was actually already deflating because the vents in the side are designed to release just the right amount of gas and then start deflating so that as he hits it, the deflation is absorbing the impact of the crash. It's estimated this incredible innovation has so far saved the lives of over 40,000 people in the United States alone. Boeing engineers are taking the principle of Alan Breed's revolutionary car airbag and supersizing it. But what we have in front here is a flight-like, full-scale outer airbag assembly. As we're re-entering the atmosphere, we'll be going supersonic, and the parachutes will decelerate us to about 10 to 30 miles per hour on landing. And that's where the module's air cushioning system comes into play. Positioned underneath the capsule's heat shield, six giant airbags inflate as the capsule drifts back down to Earth. They are filled using a series of high-pressurized gas bottles that are flowed into the airbag assemblies through a series of manifolds and valves. And just like Breed's car airbag innovation, ensuring the vent size is correct is crucial to the capsule's safe landing. As we land, the airbags will cushion the vehicle and vents will open up to allow the gas in the airbags to escape. That's important because if they didn't escape, these bags would be rigid and you could actually bounce off upon landing. Although this may appear to be an abrupt landing, this breakthrough system cushions the capsule so effectively that each Starliner will be able to make the 250-mile journey to the ISS up to 10 times. In my opinion, the airbag inflation system is one of the most unique engineering marvels to come out of spaceflight.